What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Just be over here working on chipping. Yep, yep. Doing some chipping things. Getting things out. Abby's out here. What are you doing? I'm working. <gasps> what are you working on? Ordering printer heads for this because the tags look like this. They're getting a little faded. And are we going to put up those things that you just made? Yeah, they're sitting on there. We've just been a little busy. I'm tired. I'm I can tired. tell. Yeah. We did come in kind of early today. <sighs> That's what's happening every night. Oh. Yo. But we're also staying late tonight. I'm always tired. How's it going? What are you doing? Shining up some PSPs. Like, there's still a bit of scratches. But I made it look a lot better than it did before. It was, like, all hazy and scratched mm. up. Looking nice and glossy. Good, good, good. And there's a bunch of dust underneath the screen, but I can't do anything about that unless <laughs> I open it up. And that's probably not going to happen. Nope. Well, but don't forget, guys, all the all the stuff that we're using, all the tools, all the cleaning stuff, there's links down below if you want to pick it up for yourself. We only use the best of the best. This is that beautiful Xbox that we got in the last <laughs> vlog, but it was covered with games, so I couldn't really show it, but it's pretty cool. It's got, it's got like some gray splatter. It's got blue, and then it's got purple. Now, uh, I want you to guess uh, what it could be from, because it's from like a series. What well, I already know. You already know. Yeah. And I think if the peeps watched the last video, they also know. <laughs> I didn't know until this morning. It's the NBA two twenty twenty um, edition. I was just like, how? What? This is the accidentally painted something in my bedroom edition. Yeah. <laughs> this is the like. Like, I don't know. It just seems. It's definitely different. Yeah. It <laughs> also. Does... What? Oh, yeah. Orange. These. We finally got something with bigger tags to put on these things behind the counter. Because a lot of the time people are like, how much is that? And now it can be like $400. Everything's just going to be $400 to make it easy. So. <laughs> how much do I cost? I think it says four hundred dollars. I guess I'm also four hundred dollars. Yeah, just all right. Change everything in the inventory. Every item in the store is now four hundred dollars. Why didn't we think of this before? We're gonna make so much more money. It's so easy. Like Gosh. there's a dollar store, we can be the four hundred dollars store. Yeah. I mean, how awesome will it be to sell like an N64 controller for four hundred dollars? Like, that's gonna, crazy. Yeah. Are you gonna put these up? Who's gonna put these up? Probably Abby. Okay. Well, there's a lot of them. Whoa, that was a big one. 850. Oh, What's that's eight? the the Super oh, CD-ROM no. 2. Japanese exclusive. Right, Colton? <coughs> <laughs> we had to do some rearranging and some organizing for uh, Fire Marshal. So we got this all cleaned up, got everything reorganized and put along the back wall. Because he said the issue, because we had, we had that shelf here and he said that the issue was if firefighters had to come in here for whatever reason um, with all their gear on their back, they need to be able to basically turn around without getting caught or whatever. This is already super tight. Obviously, we can't do anything about this. But all of our stuff didn't need to be right here. It can be there instead. So there it is. All done. Resurfacing cube discs over here. No. What? Cleaning Nintendo 64 discs. No. Or this that, that's controller. not a disc what what nintendo 64 discs <laughs> you know the 64 dd like floppy things yeah yeah i don't yeah. know about that that's what this is for no i'm just cleaning this um for some reason it was put out on the floor dirty <gasps> there we go. i know Could um <laughs> but i'm cleaning it because it's part of an order um colton was working on these and he actually was helping me with the trade so hmm yeah. well all these GameCube discs are loose that we have, and I decided that I would like to put them out for sale since we can make our little custom artwork things now. It's a lot of paper to print, or a lot of ink, but our GameCube collection is so small. So I think it's gonna be really nice, and some of these are better titles. They're not all great. You have to make a special little thing for open season. I'm gonna have to. There's really? a Pikmin 2 in here, though. Pikmin 2 is good. There's some good stuff. Tetris. 
Turok, Tom Clancy, Wolverine, Extreme G, X-Men, Zapper, Lego, Medal of Honor, Ratatouille, Tack, Tony Hack. There's a lot of stuff. I took all the sports games out because I didn't want us to have to resurface and make artwork for the sports titles. So Nobody plays sports. Just a, just a better one. Just play real sports. Am I right? Did you guys know that we have Double Jump merch available? Everything from t-shirts, enamel pins, and beanies, to card sleeves and Nintendo 64 jumper pack lid covers. So top link in the description down below goes to our website. You can place orders directly on there. We have a merch category. So if you're interested in supporting us and you want to get some awesome merch, check out the link in the description down below. I ain't get no allowance today, so I am really ticked off. Yeah, I didn't get no allowance today, so I am really ticked off. It, but oh, you bullies getting out of my way, because I am really ticked off. off. Okay, okay, we got a box. Did you see it? What would you say to a bully? Oh. Someone's just in your face. Uh, step out! Step out! Step out! Okay, um, I'm spitting all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Sorry. this, this uh, nice warped box. Who the heck put that the Atari 7800 box in the box protector backwards? All the other ones are done correctly. Don't worry about it. It's it, fine. It wasn't me. It was either Colton or Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really actually wasn't me. <laughs> so this thing's a little crushed and yes. warped. and Yeah, so we're going to try and we're gonna press get rid it. of that warpage there. That kind of sucks that that's about yeah, to come that's, off. That's ripped. That, there's no <laughs> fixing that. We could put some tape on the inside, but I don't, we'll leave that. I probably would. Because it's like about to come off. It is very like... It's a little flippy floppy. Floppy. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> we'll use a little piece right. of tape on the inside of that, but we're, we are going to heat press it. Yes. Um, let me see the inside. You have it flipped the wrong way. You have it flipped the wrong way. No. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. You gotta fold it a certain way because the seam of the box is here. Yeah. So if you fold it this way, you, get, you create a line here. But if you fold it the other way, you create a line on the front of the box. Yeah. So it looks a little bit better if the crease is on the side. So right. we have our poor Mystical Ninja, which was a cut box, yes. which is how we got it. But yep. it's the perfect thickness for everything, so we just use that. And yes. in this video, our heat press is on our affiliate link. Yes. Go buy one. Yeah. In the description. Yeah, click on the link and it will help you know us when you buy it for yourself. Most gonna, people don't need a heat press, but if you're a collector or you're buying and selling all the time, it's not a bad thing to have. Or if you're pressing Wait, shirts. How? I think it's the tension's way too high right now. I had it set for like a manual. Okay, well, it's closed now. Okay, well, that's not enough. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So if you have it too tight when you put a box in there, that crease that like line that you get oh, yeah. will be really really pronounced because mm -hmm. um, you're pressing it so tightly when you're pressing a manual or something it's perfect to do it tight because then it just comes out looking absolutely perfect yeah. <laughs> but mm -hmm. so we have it set to 170 so it's getting up to temperature now and we'll leave it in here for like 15 20 30 minutes yeah. and then we'll show you guys when it's done yeah. in the meanwhile let's look at some trades hooray Look, there's some Super Nintendo games. Look, there's this one. A Snow White. That one's cool. And the, 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 the kids one, that's pretty cool. Got a uh, strategy guide for Toilet Princess, a Borderlands 2 art book kind of thing. Some movies. Got some 360 games. PS2, another strategy guide, ooh, Xenosaga 3, pretty sweet, episode 3, excuse me, some cartridge games, we'll have to draw a funny picture for Big Mother Truckers. Sonic 2, because we need more of those. 
Abby's here. Is this your water? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna drink it, but I didn't. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna get sick. Oh yeah, no, not mine. I have a water bottle that's personal that nobody drinks out of. Ooh, dead cells. People like that game. I don't because I'm not good at it. I don't know why we have a PSP back here. We have lots of those. But, ooh, crazy taxi. Look at our GameCube stuff. Animal Crossing. Double Dash. Everybody wants Double Dash on Switch. Let's see if it'll happen. Some cool PSP titles. Trails in the Sky. That's pretty good. Oh, we need to get that sticker off of there. That's unfortunate. Some Box 7800 games. Pretty cool. It's always fun to see Nintendo games on non-Nintendo consoles. And we got a complete in box. DK Bond goes with Donkey Konga. Thanks for trading, everybody. These came in yesterday, and I forgot to show you guys. They're not in the inventory yet. They will be at some point, but I have huge stacks all around here to enter still. We have two Mewtwo V-Stars. We have this Mew Celebrations Full Art, which is really awesome looking. Blue Mew. We have a Greninja GX and the Espeon and Deoxys GX, which is also a very, very cool card. So the cheapest one in here is 15 most expensive one is 35 I think and then uh, the other ones are kind of in between there so none of them are very cheap but they're not crazy expensive either what what oh you do the oh yeah all right it's ready now whoop, 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 whoop. okay we're back yeah. hurry it's burning oh uh, take it out it's warm take it out it's burning <laughs> hope it didn't get too crispy I like mine a little soft it's crispy oh let's yeah. see a side profile view uh, yeah, like that. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, nice and flat. Nice and flat. Check out this. You guys probably remember how it looked like before, where it was all warped and like pushed in, but. Jesse, before and after. Okay. But yeah, you can see that this is nice and flat now. Yes. So, now we can show you how you're supposed to fold these in because I notice a lot of people don't know how to fold these right <laughs> no one here of course but like on eBay and stuff when you're buying like a box like people just don't know how to close these right so <laughs> put this one down first this yeah. one with the outer flaps and you do these guys do it like yeah. this I like to kind of do that and do that and, and then, then the you know my little side. secret for what? this part no because like if you just push it in like this it'll be fine but you'll probably crease it so i usually take all four fingers and i do it like this mm -hmm. so that i like am pushing all of it at the all same time even. yeah and you just pop it in Bam. And now it's all nice and perfect obviously the box is still creased you can't yeah you can't get rid of a crease really. but but I'd say that looks... It looks a lot better. A lot better. And then you can see the line here on the side that it created. Yeah, the um, crease line. Yeah, you see the line that goes all the way down. Yeah. So you can either have it on the side like this, or you can have it on the front, depending on how you flatten the box. That's what we were talking about. Oh, I thought you were talking about this line. Well, that too. Because <laughs> <laughs> of this uh, yeah, over, that little overlap right there. Thing right there. Yeah, when so, you flatten it, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but... Better to have it on the side or the back than the front. Looks a lot better than it did. I yeah. Would say. Let's put a little piece of tape on there. It's marked as being oh, in okay. poor condition either way, because it's still yeah, rough. It's but still, yeah. It just looks better than it did. So we'll get that tape on there, and then it's gonna be good to go. Yay! Hi. So my staff pick today is Cooking Mama for the Wii. This was one of the uh, first games I actually bought for my Wii back in the day. I had Cooking Mama and Wii Play, and Cooking Mama was right up my alley. If you like games where you are racing against the clock to do little tasks, that's basically what Cooking Mama is. You're cooking a bunch of different varieties of foods in different ways. And um, if you don't do it right, Mama gets mad or says, you know, you didn't do good enough. But uh, there's a bunch of different like recipes and everything from something simple like frying all the way up to like baking a cake and stuff. So 
if you haven't tried it, check it out. It's a really fun game. Here's one last little bit of trade that came in, guys. We have a sealed copy of Clax. It's in a it's in a protective bag as well, but it is sealed for the PC Engine, which is the Japanese version of the Turbo Graphics. If you guys didn't know, we also have wait, wait, wait. this one. I'm not sure what this game is, but it's another PC Engine one. These were inside this case, and they obviously don't go to it. I'm pretty sure these are reproduction stickers, um, which I don't really know what to do with them. So, and then we have the Mario that we heat pressed, and it looks a lot better now. And then we have one piece for the Wonder Swan. Kind of a weird little trade here, but still pretty cool. Okay, couple more sales, guys. We got some games here. We also had Oracle of Seasons, but it already sold on the website. We just got done doing our live stream for today. We've been streaming from the store. So if you want to see that stuff, you got to follow on Twitch, twitch.tv slash sitcooper. Links in the description down below to both mine and everyone else's Twitch channel. So make sure you're following. But that sold to a viewer during the stream. Ryan replaced batteries in both and got them tested. We also got uh, Pikmin 3 and then a Japanese Mario Party 5. And we have some newer... Uh, Nintendo Power magazines here, pretty cool. These were all in the 230-ish range, I think. Um, 227, 228, 226, and what's this one? I don't know, doesn't matter. It's Sonic. All right, guys, we just finished filming TikToks and everything. Colton and Ariel had to leave already, so it's just us. Yeah, because they and hate us. No, they oh. love us. No. <laughs> but instead of question of the day, you're gonna get our blooper reel so blooper. hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye. oh i meant shrek the turd ready are we cost out why <laughs> loser loser oh i've <laughs> Ryan, the peeps want to know, what is your favorite color? Uh, blue. Yeah, what he said. Is it blue? It's blue. No, okay. it's blue. But I also oh, like blue. purple. Blurple. Purple or blurple, because it's blue purple. Blurple, nerple. Or violet, that's a good one. Acceptable answer. A uh, teal. I'm looking it's... for a remote. Can I get this, but with a remote? For that price? Bird. You know, as many times as we do TikToks, we always like depict ourselves cleaning the glass cases. We do it every day. Do we? What else am I going to be doing? Just. <laughs> oh, hi, Ryan. <laughs> hello, Car Car. Hello there, fellow co worker. Oh, hello. Wow. Mind Teaser. Yeah. It's. It's not safe for the whole family, let me just tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I caught that. Those are blue beans right there. <laughs> Maya!